there's so much opportunity because it's not perfect at all. And Trade Ideas is a technology that connects to the market data in real time. And the difference between us and everybody else is that since 2003, we've been collecting real time data and we database it. So we don't just show you the data that we get from exchanges and do something to it. We collect it and we make our own market data. It's called metadata. And that allows us to do something that, um, well, I'm going to show you that you really have never seen before. It's the culmination of 13 years of being in the market. So incredibly excited to present this to you. Um, this is, again, just kind of like a high-level uh, overview of what we've done. But we've been in the game for a long time. And people who you would think would be competing with us are actually partners of ours because our technology is very difficult to replicate. And it really helps investors find opportunities better than anything out there. So we are inside eSignal. We're in stock twits. And what we mean by that is that our data doesn't just look at stock market data, but we look at social data. So we're tracking how much not only something moving around and crossing averages and all the you know, price and volume action, but we look at unstructured market data, or rather just unstructured data, social data, and we can glean sentiment and conviction. We're also inside large brokerage platforms. E-Trade, Scottrade have integrated our data and have been partners of Trade Ideas for well over seven years. So our, our technology, we're no startup, but we have done something completely different, and that's really what the... Um, the presentation is today. Um, I'm going to show you how you're going to do something that, again, you've never had access to and it's going to change the way you perceive the market. Um, so here's the thing. Every night there's a, you know, the market closes and after all the after hours there's these millions and millions of data points that are out there that are there to try to gleam some advantage from. But the problem is we as humans aren't built for that. You know, we look at a chart of Google, a chart of Dell, a chart of Microsoft. Uh, Dell's not even traded anymore. I'm just showing you how old I am. Um, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you're excited about. We look at the chart, make some sort of visual inference, and then figure out what to do. The problem is we're designed terribly for this because over the millennium of uh, evolution, we are geared towards recognition of things that aren't actually anything. So like we see like pointy, you know, tops and that looks like kind of like dog ears to us and we call that a double top because again it's it's appealing to our eyes and the problem is that there's no math behind that to really validate those patterns and that's what we've done differently now at trade ideas. You no longer have to study at night um sitting there looking over chart patterns. Instead, the computer does it all for you. So, you know, the trend has been, and, and obviously, again, I'm just kind of setting all of this up, but everybody should sort of understand that we've gone from driving like this, like in this PowerPoint, to a completely different um, environment where um, Google navigation, um, other social media events tell you not only like the best way to go and turn by turn, but they help you with traffic and everything else. And we have no issue taking advice from GPS. Okay, nobody when they're Google or their Apple Maps are saying right turn at next exit. You're not sitting there thinking about the signals bouncing off of the satellites and to your phone and back and the math that's happening in between. You're okay with just saying, hey, look, on my phone, there's this service and it's telling me this is the way to go. Well, we've done the same thing for the stock market. It's your driverless car of the future. Um, I've mentioned before that you know you as a person we're good at some things, but we're not good at other things. And the question is to know what it is that we're good at while understanding why it is we stink at other things. So over the course of, you know, again, billions of years of evolution, it has been very helpful to us to find things that fit for survival. But in the stock market and price discovery, I mean, all charts kind of look the same. You know, if you took away the axis, uh, 
and you looked at a minute chart, same candles. You don't know if you're looking at a yearly, daily, weekly, what time frame is it? So you don't know. You have to do it by either trial and error and feel, which is a terribly inefficient way to do it, or there's got to be something else. Well, again, these are all the things that are standing in your way. You know, you have an opinion, you get tired, you, uh, you know, you are you. And that's fantastic, but it's probably not a great thing for the stock market. So what we've done is, remember I told you before that what differentiates us from every other vendor in the market, including Bloomberg and Reuters and FactSet and everything else, is that we have a database of uh of stocks and we have been maintaining it ourselves we've been creating custom data for over a decade so we know like what a stock does on average on a one minute time frame in terms of price in terms of volume in terms of volatility in terms of standard deviations everything you can imagine for every stock out there and our software being the computer that it does like uh, IBM's uh, Watson is trying to go into the stock market data and kind of crunch all the numbers and dimensions that you and I could never see to figure out where are the pockets of opportunities where do they exist you know where does the odds of success hides and what you find out is that again they're not necessarily in being in Apple or being in Twitter they're finding a situation what we call a trend change where if something big happens, it's unusual, there's some quantitative footprints, and then a new, a new uh, day starts for the stock. So, with, again, with the trade ideas, the whole system, you know, when we first set it up, we were kind of much more technical. We wanted you to be able to come in, you know, set it up, configure it, do everything that you want it, and, and get at it. And that was how we started in 2003. But now it's almost 2016, and we kind of went completely in a different direction, more of the Netflix route, where you were able to download, install, click on a channel, start, and get expert high-level advice in under three minutes. Like the slide says, there's no configuration, there's no programming. It's really just a matter of, you deciding if you can or cannot apply your capital. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Let's take a look. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you know the slides are the slides. You're not. We want it your, You're not. You're not showing your screen yet for the software. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me. Uh, okay. How about right now? Uh, is everything as visible, as you, Scott? As soon as you move the presentation out of the way, it'll be visible. Scott, is uh, is everyone able to see my screen? Now it looks great. Yes. Okay. So, guys, what I'm showing you is trade ideas, and specifically, the part I'm showing you of the trade ideas, the, the part that's really revolutionizing investing, active investing, is this AI channel. So, first, I'm going to just kind of give you a a high-level overview, what you can do, how you can do it, and uh, I'm going to kind of remove some things to make it simpler for you, just show you again how customizable everything is. So here we are, and I'm going to go to our social media channel. Okay. So like I said, channels, you just click on them and instantly everything updates to the focus of the channel. So in Trade Ideas, again, remember, we're watching social media, not just the stocks that do the social media, but we're watching actual social media. So we can see when something's being talked a lot and trending up, like IBM, you know, trying to maybe reverse itself, or the other way around, when something is being discussed a lot, but trading down. So we are able to again break all of this up and show you where to focus and again if you don't like that you can constantly move around and like the search channel is an example of channel that is just when volume really starts to come into a stock so anything that's going kind of what we would say crazy you're gonna see it here 
So these are all the stocks that are just doing unusual type of behaviors. Okay. I mean, look at these bars. So this is for discretionary trading. And again, it doesn't matter if you are equities, um, if you like options, we have a channel for, op for options because again, stocks with interesting options play have alpha potential. And you can slice and dice. I'm just kind of going over everything quickly. Earnings, you can see earnings. Here's what's up with earnings today and what's down with earnings today. I mean, very simple, very clear, just constantly be able to see where the interesting data is. China, what's going on with the Chinese names, and also being able to gauge the strength of the trend. So today, a lot of the Chinese stocks are up, okay, because you can see that 82% are up from the close. Almost unlimited way to slice and dice the data. If you're an active investor, we have a very um, kind of engaging channel that lets you see things that are, you know, that you just can't see somewhere else. Like here we have a channel for what's called a bounce. Notice these bounce plays where our AI finds a specific bounce and here the mirror image is the pullback. Boom. You know, as stocks pulling back. Again, bounce. Notice again, same thing, different stock, and then pullback. So we are able to break things down for you in ways that you've never seen before. But you know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that because that's not as exciting as what I'm about to show you. So the thing that we just released is our artificial intelligence channel. So this is the game changer, the innovation in the stock market that's been waiting for probably 25 years. So this is technology that in the morning comes in and it is a computer kind of like IBM's Watson but the computer has one objective increase the size of your equity account by making speculative investments for supply and demand discovery so here are the current open positions that the AI has taken and you can see these are the winners and these are the losers and the best part is you can see the entry time when the exit time is coming uh, why things happen. Um, there's stops for every single thing. I mean, it, it, here, I'm going to switch it to just the open positions. So these are the opens. And again, you can, you, there's so much customization. So right now, the AI is up 75 cents since it started trading this morning. And it always starts flat. And it's up 75 cents. This is what it looked like. And if I was going to view all the trades, Okay, I could just come over here and say, well, what what was the AI, what did the AI do? How did it make its money today? And here's the answer. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen trades, up seventy cents, nice profits, and again, you can see what it was trying to do, and and good losers too, you know. Um, this is technology that has never ever existed before because again now individuals like yourselves instead of sitting there trying to figure out what to do we created an AI that's trading all day and its whole thing is to get you into things that you can stay in so these trades for example are trades that are basically all day trades it's trying to trend the whole day so you can see that you know here F um, this stock FTNT I'm down 23 cents, my stop is 30 cents, so I'm close to being stopped out, but you know, if you zoom in, you'll be like, wow, well, well maybe this is where you know I can just stay in a little get get a better price than the AI itself. So this is again our our, our I believe this is literally the fourth day that this has been out, and it's been positive every single day, and uh, it, it's it's almost hard to describe how hard it is to start flat and be positive and just do this and this is technology doing it remember there's no human driving it so I've you know in terms of what we are the most excited about at Trade Ideas it really is the fact that you know here you have an innovative new way of 
of chasing alpha, of exploring alpha that's completely powered by computers because we're watching everything in the stock market and we're looking for statistical setups. Um, setups that, that were uh, profitable by analysis of crunching an immense amount of data. Okay, so to get here, to find these strategies, one, two, three, four, five, there's five strategies that are on today. The computer actually had, had 35 competing ones, and only these were the ones that made it with the, um, with the proper historical record, and I can show you kind of what that looked like. So um, I can do the win percentage. This is the historical win percentage. So these, this was the historical win percentage, and this is the win percentage today. And you can see that they, they definitely change because, again, you know, real life is real life, and it can't be predicted. But at least you know why you're getting into things, and that's the big difference. That's the game changer. You know, every time you pull up, uh, you make a trade. Let's say you, you know, you pull up a Twitter, and you're like, man, this thing looks terrible. Um, or here you're like, whoa, this thing looks like it could be bouncing. But the thing is, you know, you re really don't know what's going to happen because you would have to analyze stocks that have behaved similarly and see, well, what's happened over the course of, you know, the last quarter where stocks were similar and how did they behave? And that's how the trade ideas AI makes its, um, you know, decisions on what to buy and what to sell. And the idea, too, for us was that we really wanted to do something special. We wanted to do something where the technology didn't mimic something like, you know, a Terminator robot, but something that a human could follow. So all of these trades, you know, these are all trades that you can be in. They're not, it's not that active. All this number of trades, one, eight, um, 13, 16 today, that's something that a person can follow, and the key here is being up. Um, you know, to be able to be up starting from scratch, it's one of the hardest things you can do in the stock market. And we have, we are the only technology that even come cl comes close to helping individuals uh, assess that. So, Scott, um, is this a good opportunity to, for you to come in? Um, I think I've kind of explained yeah, enough. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you can Park it on slide 18. I think you were kind of getting ahead of yourself in some of the slides there. Um, so it comes to a point where we want to ask you a question. Um, you've seen some of the technology that's an absolute game changer, and you can either, you know, if you go to the next slide now, if you can, you have a lot of daily choices. Um, you can make excuses for why you aren't getting the results you want. Uh, you can continue to do things the way you're doing them now, the hard way, or you can, you know, come on board and do things the easier way. And in the next slide you'll see a kind of illustration of that. You know, do you want to be at the beach with a laptop um, being able to execute uh, your trades or pour over charts every evening and spend a lot of time away from your family and loved ones? Um, it's, it's kind of like, you know, now that you've seen what we have, you want to take a moment and think about how much this would cost you from any other vendor in the industry. Um, we also provide training. We provide a free full hour of one-on-one -on -one training. We have a free traders chat room with an excellent moderator. Very active community. We have multiple webinars every week with instruction on how to get the most out of our tools and also just good solid trading philosophy to trade the markets. Um, keep in mind what that would cost you from any other vendor. What would it cost you from Reuters, Bloomberg, and just keep that in mind in the next couple of slides here. And now go on to slide 21 there. This is how we want to thank you for joining us. Uh, you can sign up anytime before the November 23rd and use the code LONDON, all capital, on checkout and save 25% off your first month, your first year, or the lifetime odds maker license. Now I'm going to explain our pricing a little bit here too. We're a software as a service company and we operate on a subscription model. Our Core subscription is the monthly 99 a month model, and our annual is 888 per year. Now what that includes, and of, of course the annual saves you quite a bit over the monthly, but there's no contract on either. Uh, all the real-time data is included. This includes all the exchange uh, fees. Uh, you get the charting that you saw, we, the free one-on-one -on -one training hour, our hour of power. 
you get to test our back testing tool, which we didn't even really demonstrate. But the back testing tool is the same technology that underlies our AI. It just lets you d drive it yourself to to optimize your own strategies to know what your own win percentages could be. Uh, the AI channel is a one-time eleven hundred dollar investment. It's uh, yours for life, whether you come and go with trade ideas and. But that's the way the pricing is structured. It's a one-time fee. But it shows you the trades that are performing in the market right now. You have full access unlimited to the back testing tool, which is the underlying technology called the odds maker. You can optimize your own strategy. Uh, you optimize your own strategies using the odds maker, and it requires no programming. You can test against the entire universe of North American stocks without any kind of programming rather than something like TradeStation, which requires you to script something and you can only test one stock or a handful of stocks. Um, you know, what we give you is actionable market intelligence. So with the 25% discount, you can get in with the first month at 74, a year at 666, or the AI odds maker for only 825. Um, so essentially, uh, you can become the CEO of your own financial empire. Uh, you know, if, if, you, if this is a hobby for you, if trading is a hobby, you should go to Casino. Uh, this is a real tool. It's a professional level tool. And we also hold your hand and walk you through and walk the path with you. And uh, what we're decided to present to, to the London Investment Week community here is also an opportunity for you to uh, get in on both the AI odds maker and a full year of trade ideas for much lower than it would cost you, even with the 25% discount both together. So you can get both for only $12.88. Go to that bit.ly link, bit.ly slash 1288London, all caps. That will take you to a landing page where you can click through to get the full year of trade ideas and the lifetime odds maker license for just $12.88. It lets you save $700 today right now. This is an outstanding deal. Uh, there's nothing else in the industry that even approaches this. Uh, if you have any questions at all, contact us at info at trade-ideas.com. I think we have some time remaining, actually. If anyone has any questions, uh, we'll be happy to answer them from the questions panel. Uh, I see Andrew is asking, um, does the toll offer UK stocks or US stocks only? Andrew, at the moment, we are only North American stocks. And that also answers Neil's question as well. If anyone wants to see... Scott, I'm going I'm to show the odds maker while you're yeah. answering questions. Yeah. The odds maker is the technology that we use to power our artificial intelligence engine. So um, I'm going to be doing that, and I'm going to demonstrate how we can find out if an uh, event that you see in trade ideas is a good idea or not. Yeah, the odds maker is a powerful tool. We... Um, It, it was prior to us releasing um, the AI engine, the AI channel, um, a month and a half ago to our community. And we're only starting to make it available to the wider public. Uh, the odds maker uh, was the most powerful tool we offered. Uh, now it's the AI channel, but the odds maker is the underlying technology. It lets you see exactly why your strategies have been succeeding or have not been succeeding in the markets. Uh, we were able to go back and back test a full quarter of data. And so Scott, let me uh, show real quick. So I have opened up and created a new window in Trade Ideas called 10 Day Highs. And by the way, you can do that. And with Trade Ideas, it's not only the things that we have in the channels. You can completely customize your view. And you can also look at it not just in market hours, but anytime because it's our own data and we have history. So here's Intel. It's making a 10-day high. Here's another one. Um, here's another one. Another one. They all kind of look good. But the question is, is this a good trade or is it not? I'm going to show you how we find out. So we go to back test strategy. And we kind of, so I'm in California. So my market hours are 6.30 a.m. to 1. So I can say that, well, let's say I'm going to skip the first uh, 15 minutes of the U.S. markets and not initiate any trades after uh, 11, which is, again, two hours before the close, so that I can focus more on position management versus initiation. And then you can ask hypotheticals. So what happens 30 minutes after these 10-day highs? And look at what the software is doing. So it's going back, uh, I think we, are, we go back approximately a quarter. Um, and it's going through this how many times this has happened. Look at the amount of data. 
that we're going through. So if you were uh, looking at this and comparing, it's like writing, you know, possibly 3,000 backtest scripts in TradeStation. You're doing it in under 30 seconds. So here we are. We're testing this theory, and we're almost finished. We're at 98%. And what it's going to tell us is what are the high-level odds of this uh, strategy being successful? In other words, if I took every single one of these, would it be a good trade or a bad trade if I held it for 30 minutes? And look what I learned. 2,100 times this happened, but it's like a coin flip. So what you find out in this this is why we invented our artificial intelligence. What you find out is that the market is incredibly efficient if you don't have some extra help. Um, and that's why we have this optimization framework where, again, you can do it yourself, but our AI does it all for you. It goes in underneath, figures out where the best uh, odds of success are, and then creates a strategy for you that mimics that. And that's how we have this. Again, you have to appreciate how hard it is to be able to buy something and then have it go up. You know, it's not easy. Um, there's no magic to it. You have to crunch an incredible amount of data. Yeah, and uh, Roland was asking about using us in another country, whether uh, he needs to register with a local broker. Um, or uh, Roland, we have um, some... So interactive brokerage is one that services a lot of international clients, but we have another partner, Direct Wealth, I believe it is, that, that caters specifically for um, Europeans trading U.S. equities. But if you shoot us an email, we will provide you with some links to who might be able to help. But the idea here, and again, and this is where I want to, I, I don't want to overcomplicate it, is this. This is the big deal, guys, the fact that here you have a robot Okay, that's making the decisions for you and is positive and already realized trades and these are open trades and, and the key here is that it's making the decisions and then you decide if you want to follow. So it's a different kind of framework. You're no longer deciding if a chart looks good or looks bad or whatever. You're more deciding like can you handle the risk. The AI is doing everything else and that's why we're so excited. I mean there's nothing like this on the planet. Something that's, again, that, that's there every day, it's consistent, and tries to do uh, the thing that's the hardest to do for all of us, which is trade and make money. Yeah, we're happy to answer anyone else's questions. And again, that, that, uh, that offer, the 1288 for both the year and the annual, will we'll eventually be retired sometime in January. Uh, so it's a great time to get on. We're just offering that because um, our AI engine is still officially in beta, even though we've released it publicly. And we want as many people to get on board as possible. It uh, helps us to test. Yeah, it helps us to refine it. We, we're very confident in saying that this is the most advanced technology for equities in, fi in fintech. You're not going to find anything even remotely similar. Um, the fact that every night the system learns and changes itself to adjust to what's working statistically is already a game changer. But our data that we have that makes it, again, be able to just get better and better and learn and adjust, that's, again, that's the way you want to explore. You know, we're like curiosity on Mars. It's doing there. It's it's there by itself, and you know you can't be there by yourself. So yeah, and, and um, even without the odds maker or the AI engine, just being on the monthly, uh, there's a lot of valuable tools there to know what's going on in the market and spot. And so, so Scott, spot, Steve, yeah. Stephen Wiley uh, asked a great question. He said, you know, doesn't this need to place the trades for you? Um, no. Uh, and the answer no is notice that some of the trades, it, the trades are not the kind of thing where as soon as you get in, you make money. So this was designed to trade in a way that a human could follow. So here's a long trade, right, That's that you're not exactly profitable yet, but the statistics could still be valid. You could actually do better than the AI. BLDR, I mean, that was somewhat perfect because it just got it in right at the best price. So again, you know, it it's just a feed of good information. 
So you do not have to have uh, API. And right now it's um, so. Okay, another question is: Does it do swing trades or is it just intraday? Of course, you can swing. People make a lot of confusing um, notions about what swing trading is. A swing trade is a trade that you're able to stay in longer than one day. Why are you able to stay in it? Because you're up money. That's what a swing trade is. And you're up money and you feel confident enough that you can be an up enough to warrant the overnight risk. It's nothing more. It's that simple. So we also had a question if we plan on doing this with Forex and the answer to that is um, at the moment no. There's doesn't there's no real uh, um, consolidated exchange for Forex pricing as I understand it. There's a lot of different um, that's right. Um, yeah, right now we do not have Forex, but uh, you know, at some point in the future, I mean, there's so much going on with the equities. The opportunities in the equity side are so killer that you know we're we're we're, we're almost having too much demand for this, believe it or not. Because again, when people see this, they're like, "Wait a minute, I've never seen this before. I've never seen AI that's doing it for me and and winning." And you're seeing it in real time. I mean, it's making stuff as we're happening. You can see where all of this stuff is coming from. You know, open, closed, everything. Richard's got um, a great question about our, uh, how many people use us and how long we've been tested uh, in the retail community. Um, well, the, the initial version of our software has been offered to retail traders since 2003. Um, yeah, we've been, the technology has been, in, been building since 2003. And there's probably, in the world, there's about 15,000 people that use trade ideas all across 75 different countries. So it's more enough, but not to where we use. If you count in, in for US partners about trade, 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 it's higher. It's, it's over 50. Yeah. <clears throat> but a lot, yeah. And and then Roland had an excellent question about um, if it's a, a download or it's a web version. Uh, we have both. The, the, the premium version, uh, the premier edition that you're seeing right here is a PC download. It also works excellent on a Mac if you're running Parallels or VMware as an emulator. In fact, our our CTO, our Chief Technology Officer, programs on a Mac. It runs our software in an emulator on our Mac. Uh, but we also have a web version uh, that is very robust. It just does not yet have the AI window in it. It has the odds maker though, and that uh, that web version is accessible from any modern browser. Yeah, this is. And I'm just putting it up on my screen. And if you launch the web, and I'm just going to do that real quick, um, let me show you what it looks like. And I'm going to put in my username and password. And so this is the web based version. And here I am on the social media channel. And you can see that, you know, it all does exactly what it's supposed to do. You can move it around, you can size it and resize it. Um, it's a very powerful tech. The only difference is the web version does not have the AI, although it will be coming. Yeah, the web version is just like a generation behind our, our download. Yeah. So um, let's see. Joseph was asking if there's any statistics, and of course there are. So look at, all, first of all, you have all of the ratios are right here, but let's say again, um, I'm going to go to an alert window, and I'm going to just start from scratch. And I'm going to, and I'm just going to show you an example where and how we do the statistics. So I'm going to create a big, uh, oops, block trade. So here I'm looking at block trades of 100,000 shares or more for stocks that are between $10 and $200. On a, at a time where they're up just a little for the day. And I'm going to try to see if that works as a trade. Okay? I'm going to call it big block. I hit OK. So here's what it looks like. Okay, so now the software is looking for big block trades. And, and you can do a lot. Um, you know, again, you can. You can configure more data points to see more things, but the, the statistics, okay, are here. So here I'm going to back test for 30 minutes. I'm going to run it real quick, and here you can see. I mean, every single trade 
you can kind of see where it's going. Profit factor is the sum of all the winners divided by all the losers. And the win rate is, you know, exactly the win rate. What you really get to see here when you run every single test is that you see how much, how efficient the market really is and how desperately you should be needing to trade with AI because this basically is the result for anything that you can do visually. Anything that you don't have assistance for is a coin flip in the market. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so um, notice we have calendar heat maps. You can see exactly which trades did what, and you can go kind of see what was the losing day, what was the winning day. Um, you can see what your days looked like kind of on the PL basis, drawdowns, buying power, and obviously this was not designed as a strategy. Um, so what we're, what we're doing is these are all the tools that you have where you can see it, and our AI uses that tool to create strategies that are giving you these kinds of results. So, um, Rob, we've been trying to show this to TD Ameritrade uh, for years. Uh, they're confused. <laughs> it always helps uh, for uh, for customers like you to email them and uh, request us. Uh, the noisier the customers get, the more likely their confusion is to evaporate. Um, so Stephen's got a good question about the AI there. Uh, about uh, So the AI runs, you watch it make suggestions as time goes by, more data incoming changes things. Um, since I'm placing the trade, I need to decide how long to watch, is what he's asking. So Steve. Uh, Steve, uh, I, I mean, great questions, but by the way, all of that is in the AI. Do you see this right here? Time until stop. Every single trade has its own timer, its own countdown, everything. Everything is done by the AI for you. We know. Um, so it's all done. Every single trade has a entry price, a time to get out, and an exit price. And if you are up more, at the end, and you don't need to get out. That's how you know you're a swing trader. It's that simple. Okay, so Scott, I think we got it. Yeah, I mean, guys, this is again, this is the most that we have been excited about anything, and we just hope you guys participate because it's so much fun seeing people actually do well versus struggle. That's that's what we're about. That's the mark of when when an educator feels good. So all the everything is included, uh, Douglas. All the feeds are included in our uh, pricing. So there's no additional feeds. Uh, we have everything. Yes, uh, Richard. Uh, we have technical, fundamental. Let me show you real quick. Okay. So here is a an alert window, right? And if you go to the search tab, you can go to fun. Whoops. Fundamental. So these are the kind of floats that you. I mean, the kind of Floats that you, uh, floats, filters that you can send on a fundamental basis. There's quite a bit of them. Okay, so we have everything. We combine f fundamental, price, volume, everything. Um, Wayne, if there's demand, we will definitely add this uh, for the European markets. We just need a good partner so that we don't spend their marketing in Europe when you know, again, when we're in California. We actually have already connected to the DAX before, so we've done it. We can do it. Um, it's all a question of who is a good partner. That's it. Yeah, and if anyone has any questions afterwards, it, our, our email address for support is info, I-N-F-O, at trade-ideas.com. You can always just try and email Dan directly. He's dan at trade-ideas.com. He's actually very accessible for a CEO. Yeah, so, I mean, this deal right here, this offer that we're doing for everyone, it's incredible because we're basically giving the AI away for free um, for the most part just to show you how confident we are that this... Guys, I mean, here's what I'm going to tell you. You are watching a technology that's going to be taking over all of equity speculation. So you're getting to see it first. We're very excited. And it's never going to be at this kind of a rate once we release it. So we hope you get a chance to participate. 
Um, check out trade ideas. There's nothing like it on the market. Nothing. Yeah, and just and, to uh, also reiterate about this offer, it renews at 888, so you're locked into the 888 rate. Um, we'll be raising our annual rate after uh, probably some point uh, after second quarter, third quarter next year again. Yeah, all of our pricing is grandfathered because we appreciate all the people that come into these kind of webinars and are with us from the beginning. And, and, and we, we have a know, lot of people us. with us who have been with us for five, six, seven years, and they are still they're they're in us at annual rates of as low as like two hundred and fifty, three hundred dollars because we used to be that inexpensive before we added more features. Yeah. Yep. They're still on the same rates. We just we honor that. So once you start with us at the rate you get in with us on, you're you're in that as long as you sustain it. Yep. Yep. Dan Scott, it, it's Simon here. Um, I, I'm fascinated. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this, and uh, obviously I've I've spent many years uh, marketing various software, investment software packages in the UK. And uh, this is this is interesting. <laughs> I think the the phrase you've been using, game changer, um, is quite apt here. Now, I wanted to ask you though, in terms of the analysis of the different sectors, the different sort of watch lists that you have, um, social media, the, the search, defense, and so on. With the launch of the AI tool. Would you? How does that sit with the the analysis of the other sector? Does this supersede um, doing a lot of the homework yourself? Should you put your trust completely just in the the AI tool, or would you recommend people still under, undertake a, you know, analysis on, of their own as well? I think for us, I mean, it's a great question, and um, since the AI is so new. As people have gotten on it, they've spent most of their time working with the AI because of this, because it's profitable. I mean, if it wasn't profitable, you know, people wouldn't be using it. But because it's profitable, and it's profitable because of the massive statistical analysis, this is where I would say people spend a lot of their time. But however, you know, once you're in, uh, you really kind of... Uh, you know, it's not always we're here, like, for example, the open positions, right? Let's look at them real quick. You know, right now you're in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven positions. It's a lot, but it's also kind of like lunchtime, and there's really not that much going on. So at that point, this is where you're like, okay, well, since I'm in this, I'm, you know, or a certain percentage of this, this is where you maybe go to, like, the surge channel, and take a look. Well, what's surging right now? You know, and you're like, oh, let's take a look at this guy, BBRC. You know, what, 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 where has the, uh, where's the new information forming? Something that might be kind of like, because the AI studies what happens today and gets ready for tomorrow. But this is the stuff that's happening like right now. And you know, if if it's not in the AI, this is where, for discretionary purposes this is still a very valid way to search. But, you know, when you have this, this is where almost everybody is focusing the majority of their time. Fascinating. So in, in terms of the risk profile of the AI, in, in terms of the, the, the parameters, is it a fairly conservative tool, would you say, or...? Well, it's, it's designed to be an, an active individual investor. So we kind of have to take broad strokes. I mean, in reality, fintech is so funny. You know, somebody that trades once during the day is considered mo mo more active than anybody else, you know, like, because, again, the statistics are weird. So we're trying to create AI that trades in a way that you could follow it. Maybe you're not in all of them, but you're in enough of them to get, you know, the money. And it's something where people can see it. They're like, you know what? I can be in these trades. There's nothing magical about them. That's where, um, you know, th that's really where we try to focus. So in terms of, of the risk profile, it's an active trader, but it gets out every single night. Unless you yourself, the trader, uh, decide that you don't want to, you know, th th that you can hold it. But what really makes the AI so special is that every morning it's flat. I mean, you come in, it does nothing for the first 15 minutes. It's kind of just does like what you do. It waits there, it checks it out, and then it wants to rock and roll. 
fascinating. Uh, absolutely fascinating. Uh, Cash is asking, uh, uh, Cash, I don't think you heard earlier on, but uh, w the, the tool doesn't uh, analyze right. the UK FTSE shares yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, right uh, now, not yet. But if we have a good partner, and there's, um, if we were if we were connecting to the data, any data that we can connect with, we can AI. But we haven't done it because, um, again, we don't want to market in the UK. We want a very solid, very respectable, large partner that can go and sell this kind of technology to their customer base, um, where we're more of the software provider versus the sales. Okay. Can I ask uh, a question which many people in the room are probably wondering is um, the temptation to to launch this as a, as a fund, uh, ah, is, is there a reason why question. you won't go down that route? We, we've thought about that and, and people have ever since, you know, since it just came out, so many people, there's, there's a couple of billion dollar hedge funds in California that are approaching us to want to trade it. But we have not done that right now because, again, for, from our perspective, this is we kind of feel like we're leapfrogging a lot of things in fintech, and we think we have a billion-dollar technology here, and we don't need to be a hedge fund. You know, it's not just about winning. We want to empower individuals so that they can see what's available in the stock market. You know, for us, having people be able to see that this happens, this kind of KBIO movements, that this is an existence, that it's not just fantasy. And I'm not saying about just being uh, right in it. The point that look at the volatility from, you know, 2 to 21 to 9 in two days. I mean, this is where you need to be, you know, active in the markets. This is why we are active in the markets. And there's no better technology if you are exploring alpha than trade ideas. I mean, there's nothing else that comes close to what we're doing. Yeah, and there's no contract for the monthly, so anyone that wants to just sign up for the month, even without AI, you can get that for 74 your first month. Try the training. Joining us, join us in our in our traders chat every day. We have a live uh, a live trading room. Uh, you get to look over the shoulder of Barry Einerson, who is uh, yeah, it's right here. So on the channel bar, just so you can see, you can access the room, and it's free. Uh, it's it's an incredible. I sound like Donald Trump. <laughs> um, it's incredible. If you want to sound like Donald Trump, you got to say it's classy. <laughs> yeah, the, everybody in the room likes me. <laughs> well, guys, that, that, that absolutely fascinating. Uh, sorry, Simon here again. Uh, I'm just watching this again. Um, you know, we've got a lot of experience of, of uh, looking at software packages, and uh, I've certainly had my eyes opened uh, in the last 40 minutes uh, in terms of what you're offering. It's a fantastic tool, by you know, on, on, on the face of it. I'll look forward to uh, exploring it and having a look at the recordings of this webinar and uh, researching it uh, some more. But um, we, we've still got another another few minutes if there's any final questions. R Richard, absolutely right. And that's what, what you are saying is what everybody who sees this is saying. I've got to rethink my approach because throwing darts at it is not the best uh, scalable solution. Um, RP, right now we do not scan for Forex. Um, Again, uh, maybe at some point in the future. Right now, it's equities, equities, equities. And let's face it, the U.S. equities market's the biggest casino in the world. Do you, Do you factor the, all the, all the fundamental data in? Does it Does it crunch fundamentals yes, it and, and price behavior as well? Yes, fundamental data is part of the AI. So when the AI is working, so I'm just going to quickly show you the configuration. Um, we have uh, what's called alerts and filters. So we have filters is how you filter the universe, and there's a lot of um, overlap between the, the alerts and filters. Filters is how you, print, uh, you, how you dissect the universe. And if you look at this, I'm just kind of showing you a list. The reason why we are able to win is we have just the most data points. I mean, if you can imagine what's happening here. I mean, look, look at the amount of data points that we have to be able to put into the AI and it's trying so many of it. 
You know, it's just trying different combinations, different variables, and of course, at the bottom, I mean, look to on so many different time frames to see what's working. This is the part where, again, you know, that's what you can't do by hand. And uh, these are the the fundamental filters. And you can, and by the way, there's also a formula editor. So if you're fancy, you can actually write your own uh, combinations of uh, filters using our logic. So we have a scripting language in there. I just don't want to overwhelm people, you know, right away. Yeah, essentially, essentially, you can get as granular as you want to get, or use the defaults that we have. Yeah, I mean, I'll show it real quick. So here on our website, let's see, so is it products? No, go to login at the top. Oh, yeah, login. It's under the account management section. There you go. Um, formula. Custom formulas. Right above where your mouse is, custom formula. There you go. Yeah, you don't go okay. there often enough. Brad's in there all the time. Yeah. Yep. So here you go. And these are Dan's formulas, so you have you can have up to 99 of them, and uh, they get named U0 through U99. Oh, so you yeah, so you can see, like, cash versus dead. I mean, you can see that we're, you know, you're really able to volume speed as, as an example. I mean, you can get very fancy if you want to. So it's a very powerful system. Um, it's just that you don't need to exercise that power. Um, when you've got the AI that's doing it for you. Trust the AI. So it's crunching. Richard, Richard has a question. Trust the AI. Yeah. <laughs> does it take in, does it take account of open interest? Um, open interest, I'm not sure if that's one of the data points, but if, if not, again, that, that's not, you know, it, it has enough data points to where it's succeeding. So that's the thing. I mean, we're always adding something. I don't think open interest is a significant uh, one that we have right now, but again, if there was something that we felt we needed, we could always add. Um, so Stephen, great question. The AI is for day trading. Here's how it works. I mean, for uh, for swing trading. Here's how it works. Right now, I have a short winner in BLDR. If I was in it, okay, I'm in this thing like at 34. If I finish the day at like 13. You know, then maybe I keep it as a swing. There's no, there's nothing that says magically this is a swing, this is a day trade. The thing is that we give you the ability to not be in the market overnight, which is a big risk hurdle that people like. But if you are profitable in a trade, there's nothing that says you can't hold it overnight. That's how you decide what you want to do. Um. Dan, Scott, if we could make this the last question, um, we're just we're just um, out of time now. Um, so Douglas has just asked a question. Maybe we could make this the final question. So, okay, exchanges like IEX, uh, and, uh, front running. Yeah, we're not a front running HFT. I mean, we're we're not even anywhere near that. We are a computer that is speculating for you. It's not an HFT, it's not arbitrage. In fact, it's designed to not need the kind of speed uh, that an HFT needs. There's no need for co-location. The trades that we're trying to get into, like, um, you know, like look at this one, BLDR. I mean, you're, you're in a trade where you're trying to get in and make like a point, you know, 30 cents. Intel, another perfect example. You know, here it is. It's 37 cents. You know, HFTs are looking to get their one cent and they're done and trying to repeat it a million times. So, totally different ballgame. Okay. Uh, Richard, we'll be sending a, a copy of the recording um, so you can review this presentation again. Uh, Absolutely. Which should help. Yeah. Well, Dan Merkin, uh, CEO of Trade Ideas, and Scott Olson, thank you very much indeed for joining us uh, today. It's been a pleasure to have you uh, take part in the, uh, the, the the presentations today. Um, personally, I, I'm, I'm fairly impressed. I think this is uh, very interesting, and uh, I'm going to have a look at it all uh, in much more detail uh, after today.
Um, are there any closing remarks? Um, I'll hand over to you for a, a closing remark before before we, we I take the presenter roll by. Yeah, well, I want to thank you guys for letting us come in. We love the fact that um, European investors are actively trying to participate in in, in the in the U.S. equities markets, and we want to we want to help. We want to give you something again that you've never had before. This is this is why you're at these kind of webinars looking for the early advantage, the alpha. This is what this is about. This is why we have this kind of offer. And we're just excited for you guys to try it and see for yourselves what we're seeing for ourselves. It's an amazing time to be in the equities markets. Thank you very much, Dan, and uh, thank you, thank you, Scott. Thank you. Uh, I will take the presenter rollback from.